Hey y'all, Jesse Pearson here with Let's Make Art. I'm a mixed media artist and I really enjoy art journaling. And today I have a fun um, theme for you. I want to introduce Keenan over Hello. here. Hi there, how are you? Thanks for coming. <laughs> he's he's uh, <laughs> our camera guy, he's our art cheerleader and i um, glad that he's here cheering us on. And um, we have this fun project. It's like a magic portal. <laughs> and that's our theme this month is magic portals. So um, if you're new here, we like to work in themes and then we do some projects based on those themes. We like to have techniques that we can draw from and prompts. So, you know, a couple of techniques we'll do in this theme and some prompts. And then we choose a prompt and technique and we make a project. So this is the project that we're gonna do, but I just wanna tell you a little bit about the theme that we're working under. This month's theme will open doors to more interactive techniques in your journal. Magic portals and an invitation to create dimension while exploring other dimensions. Oh. <laughs> the vibrant paint, shiny new gold craft knife and art recipe cards are meant to support imaginative storytelling in your journal. Here's to a new art journal adventure. Nice. So when I say um, nice paint and all that, it comes in a subscription box. If you are a subscriber, then you have probably received this. If you're not, you can use paints that you have around and join us and that is awesome. Um, we have this gold craft knife. Now, do you need a gold craft knife? No, but it's really fun if it's gold. <laughs> it's fancy. <laughs> so we have that. And it also came with a couple of extra blades. We have this pure sunshine paint. We have this white linen and bubblegum pink. That's bubble such a gum. good color. And then we have this Distress Crayon by Jim Holtz, uh, Tim Holtz, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, it's called Chip Sapphire, and we're gonna use that. And then we have some Yes Paste. I'm also going to use Old Mavis here. <laughs> oh, good old Mavis. I only named her Mavis because it kept saying mobile instead of oval mop <laughs> brush. It's a half inch. Um, this isn't like, you know, a make or break for your project, whatever brush you got is gonna be fine. And I also have a round eight just for fun. And we will need a palette knife, which I forgot to lay out, but I can do that now. The palette knife just helps us with our glue. So put that right there. Now well, we know we have that. Um, it's nice to work with clips. Keep your journal flat if you need to. We have these rusty clips available on letsmakeart.com, our website there. And you can find a lot of these supplies there as well. Okay, so I think we're ready to just jump in this project. Um, I love this one, I'm so excited. So we are going to make this interactive sort of thing happening where there's doors that open and you can see through to the next page. And then there's that. So I'm gonna explain what that is with our prompt. Okay, so there's a couple of prompts this month under this theme. This one is called Magic Portal. And the prompt is just to get you thinking about stuff. Like if you don't, you're not digging it, like do your own thing, that's no big deal. If you could open a magic door and transport yourself to a real place on earth or even to a different time period, where would you go, where or when would you go? What would you do there? Who would you like to see? So uh, spoiler alert, there's another prompt that's like fictional place to go. So this is like a real place, but when or where kind Got of it. Okay. scenario. Okay. So I made them separate because I was like, I would want to do two different kinds of yeah. things. So I answered that prompt by saying, I travel to the future and see how my kids turned out as grownups. Oh. <laughs> Cause I just love seeing their personalities evolve. Um, my little girl is turning two and it's been fun to see her personality emerge and um, you know, I just want to know. I just want to know the things like right now. Like, like so, so then, what are they going to be like? You Will know? she still have those happy cheeks? Um, I hope so. I do too. <laughs> hope she just gets taller, but it keeps the cheeks. Yeah, that'd be great. So anyway, it's kind of a silly one, but I like it. You can do whatever you want there. So we'll focus on the technique now for this. And oh my gosh, I forgot my journal. Like this is the one that I'm showing you, and I gotta have one that I work in. You know, because I make it <laughs> twice. Let's see. Let me grab one. This is our mixed media journal that Carpe Diem made for us that I'm gonna use here. I'm gonna turn it into, sometimes I like to leave a couple of pages in the front to do something and then I'll start in in the middle. You don't, you can, you don't, you can do it in order, you can do it whatever you want. This is what I like to do. Okay, so I think the first thing that we're gonna do, but maybe, yeah, we're gonna do, here's the steps. We're gonna paint the background with this bubblegum pink 
we're not going to use this yellow, but I think we're going to use everything else for this specific project. We'll use the yellow later on in another project. Um, we're going to paint the background with bubblegum pink in this chip sapphire crayon. Then we're going to trim out the door image and paste that to the page. Now, if you're like, I'm just going to get go for it. Hold on a second, because I want to tell you that we're going to cut this door out, but not the doors. We'll put it on, and then we'll cut the doors so that we're cutting that page and the image at the same time. Ah. So just slow your roll if you're getting excited, because that makes a difference. Calm down, <laughs> yeah. please. No, I almost forgot too when I was like making it the first time when I was exploring like what I was going to do. Um, and so yeah, we'll put the cutting mat under our page and cut that shape out and then we'll paint the s underneath page yellow after that. So, you know, there might be a little drying time, might need some snacks handy. Mm. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get our mop brush and let's dispense some bubble gum. I wish it smelled like bubble gum, that would be cool. Uh, that'd be pretty impressive. So I'm getting my brush wet and I'm not going to use like a lot of paint. I'm just going to kind of thin it out a little and just start putting it on there. You know what I'm saying? Putting it down. I kind of think it's fun to do it like more like watercolor-ish for this one. So it's not just like straight acrylic paint, but we're just kind of watering it down so you can get some of those fun textures of pigment kind of piling up in some spots. Give it some character. Yeah, it's a little, little character here. Now, a fun thing, we'll just, we'll let this do its thing. I'm just gonna add a little water for fun, kind of whatever. Now this Distress Crayon, you can, put it directly on your paper, which we will do, but you can also take it. Can you see this on the camera? Do I need to move that over? Nope, that looks great. Okay, you can just draw on your palette a little pigment, and then you can use that with your paint and mix like a nice little purple, you know? And we can kind of do some blending mm. with purple. Maybe this even makes it look fun to blend. Yeah, Mavis is a really great girl. Yeah. She's a good helper. I like her. Good, good for her. I like that we gave her a name because, you know, I have friends who name their sewing machines and their computers and they feel like they work better because they're friends. Huh. I've never named a computer. I've named vehicles, but never a computer. That's a good idea. Well, I have a brother sewing machine, so I named it after one of my brothers. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> And I don't know that we have the best relationship, me and the sewing machine. Sometimes I get a little mad. <laughs> I feel a little guilty. Maybe. Saying, well, I won't say which. I have two brothers. We'll just keep it a secret which yeah, one yeah, is yeah. my sewing machine name. But I feel a little guilty. What if you, like, added an S after brother? So it just says brothers, and then they really don't know who you named it after. <laughs> yeah, uh, it could just be, oh, brothers. Oh, brothers. <laughs> oh, brothers, where art thou? Yeah. Where were you when I needed to deal my sewing machine with <laughs> Yeah. But Mavis never fails me. Mavis is great. Oh, Mavis. It's such a good name. It's I like good Mavis name. as a name. So if you're Mavis and you're joining us, then we're just letting you know that you're great. We appreciate you so much. Mm -hmm. Then I'm jealous of your name. Okay. I wasn't really explaining what I was doing, but you're watching me do it, so that's okay, right? Were you, were you following? Are you, are you picking up what I'm putting down? The paper is. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. I can't. I was gonna do that little sound effect <laughs> in the drawing. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I'm like, no. So I'm gonna put some more pigment down. Just gonna do. I'm gonna rinse my brush, get some of that pink off, so I can just. So I'm gonna. Make sure the pink's off by using my paper towel. You know what we forgot, Keenan. Um, we didn't set an intention. We didn't. Luckily, pink is such a calming color, and now we can just transition into that yeah. easily. What's funny is the intention that I wanted to set today was um, in this moment, I can pause and be present. And I was so present in painting that I forgot to set an intention. Perfect. <laughs> How appropriate. So if you are feeling frazzled and you need to set an intention, 
Let's take a deep breath. And just say, I can be, I can pause and be present because that's what painting does for us and working on our art journal does for us. It helps us be in this moment. So if you're worried about something else, other things are going on in life and you got this list of things that need to be done or you don't know how to solve that problem, you just put that aside. Just put that aside for a minute and let's paint together and be present in this moment. That's what we can do. I think that feels right. Oh, I'm liking this. I need more blue though. More sapphire, chipped sapphire. That's what I need more of. Just a little bit right there, you know, because I know that, that that top of the roof of the door is gonna be right there, so it kind of be cool to have a little blue up in there. I had a little pink on my brush, so I made a little purple, but I want more blue. I like how it looks like it is actually surrounded by magical things. Yeah? Does it feel magical? Yes. Well, that's what we're going for. Perfect. Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> Perfect. I want it to feel magical and just, I mean, I feel like if I was to approach a magic portal that was going to take me somewhere else, there should be poops of blue and pink clouds. A hundred percent there should be. Something magical. But if, you know, the blue and pink is not what your magic portal would be, like, you know, if you imagine it to be something else, you can make it whatever you want here. This is just a suggestion. Okay, we're going to need to let that dry. We're going to need to let that dry. So we're going to switch on to another step, and we'll come back to that. So our magic clouds can do a thing for a minute. Okay, I'm going to make sure my, sometimes I get my surface wet, and then I put my paper on it, and I get my paper wet. So it's not wet. We are good. And I'm going to get ready to cut this door out. Now, this is tricky because, and I print my paper here. Your paper gets printed somewhere else. And sometimes the variation of color might be a little different. But I just want you to see that you can't really tell this. So I cut this out where it looks like there's a little frame around the door. Mm -hmm. And there is one, I'm pretty sure. Maybe there's not, and I made it up, but I like how it looks, and it will help um, gluing it down and, and having a place where this door like folds open, where it's not right on the edge of where you're cutting it. So I want to encourage you, if you're using this in this way, to cut it just like how I cut it. It will work out better for us. So in order to achieve that straight line, so if you don't have one there, I'm going to use a ruler, and I'm just going to line it up where that is, and then I'm going to cut down. Now, before you get excited and you start cutting, I just want to give you a tip. We're going to stop right there because then we're going to want our steps to come out. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So when I start cutting a line, sometimes I just keep on going. I do it when I'm cutting fabric. I do it when I'm cutting paper. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, man. So don't do that. Stop. And I'll tell you when I'm cutting, like, hold your roll there. Okay? So we're going to do the same thing over there. So, But we're not going to cut out the doors. Like I mentioned earlier, we're going to wait for that, this to be glued down, and then we'll cut the doors out as part of the paper. All right. Enough talking about making art. Let's make art. <laughs> And, you know, if, you ha if you're still a little new at cutting with an X-Acto, it's okay. Yeah. It's going to be fine. Just takes practice. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut that line. Part of being consistent with a thing is being consistent with a thing. Yeah. I like, oh, that's deep, man. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be fine. It's going to be great. Okay, so now I got that, and it's not perfect. It's fine. And I'm just gonna, this comes kind of at a little angle, so I'm just gonna cut that little angle. Perfect! I stopped right when I didn't even know I could do it. That's cool. <laughs> this needs to just come out just a titch more, so I try to keep my head out of the way. It's hard, because I just want to get really close. I was just gonna say, Doors have really great posture. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Okay, so instead of coming in and cutting in that way, we're going to give ourselves some room. And I'm going to just, just so I know, I'm going to cut this right here out so I know that's where I'm going to stop. That's a good, 
thing to do. And I can see if that's where I want it. And if you wanted, you could do like a little, little pencil line there. So I like to cut on this side of my ruler instead of the other, because if you cut it like this and your hand slipped, it would slip into the image that you're cutting and mm -hmm. you get a cut where you don't want to cut. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I like to put my ruler over the image that I'm cutting out of the project and make sure that I'm protecting it from me slipping. Smart. So that's why I put that little pencil line there. And then we can cut on this side of the ruler. Uh oh, where's my pencil line? Right there. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to keep my head out of the way. It's a lot of things. All right. And I know that I cut this little spot right there already, so I won't cut too far. Okay. Now, I made that sound complicated. It's not. I just want you to have a good time, so I was just really over explaining it, probably. <laughs> you can also turn your paper I feel if like, you need to. I feel like maybe a little over explanation is okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Good. So I, I'm just eyeballing that, but I think that's about the same angle and thickness there. So I'm going to give myself a little pencil line in there so I know where it is. I'm going to do the same thing. Now the steps on this side because of, I don't know, the angle this photo is taking comes out a little bit more or something. That's okay. I'm just going to, I don't need my ruler for that. The steps are whatever. All right. So now I got that line. I'm going to turn it, protect my image put my ruler down where my thing is. Now, if you're cutting this direction, then you don't want to cut into that part. So this is where I'm going to stop cutting right there. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. You know what they say about measure twice, mm -hmm. cut once. Measure once, cut twice. Well, just look at what you're doing. No matter how many times I cut it, it won't get longer. Yeah, weird. Well, I'm not measuring, but I'm making sure I don't cut into the wrong spot. So if you got to think about it a couple of times and do that. Oh, yeah, 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 it's going. We're doing it. Okay, I'm probably going to freehand the rest of this. You can use a ruler if you want, whatever makes you happy. And I'm going to trim it right out, right down the edge, because I want my steps to be on the bottom of my page. So it kind of anchors the image on the page. And so, I mean, if you wanted a floating door, you could do that too, and then it wouldn't be on the bottom of your page. It could just be floating. And then I guess you could fly into your magic portal door. I still lack imagination, so I'm like, I'm going to walk up to that magic portal. I don't know. I'm going to fly up to it if it's floating. <laughs> you might have to. What if you pump up your Jordans? Ooh. Have you ever had a flying dream? A flying dream? Yeah, where you're no, flying I've, in I've your dream. No, I've had a falling dream. Oh, I don't like those ones. I kind of do. You do? Yeah. Because it feels like you should be flying, but you're just falling. And you never get hurt. Well, I never get hurt. So, like... Do you wake up before you hit the ground? Oh, yeah, always. Well, that's what people say. Like, if you hit the ground in your dream, like, you won't wake up or something. I'm like, oh, well, that's scary. That's I don't want to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so that's... See, it's looking cool. Nice. I like the contrast of the blue with all the pink, which is nice. I'm just realizing that my gold matches the door. That's fine. Oh. Okay, so we let that dry for a minute, and then we're going to do a couple of little squiggles with this guy. Just give us some texture. And if you add water... I didn't notice that you took the cap off of that, and I was like, well, what are you doing not gonna with the bottom of that marker? <laughs> I mean, you can practice with the lid on if you want, you know, a few if you wanted to. I'm putting this door on there to kind of see where... I want my squiggles. All right, I think I want some right in there. Now the fun part about this is that when you add water to it, after you've kind of put it on dry, it will still disperse the pigment a bit, which is fun. 
I kind of want some coming out of here. Oh yeah, I like that. So you can do a few marks, you can do a bunch. It's just whatever you want. Wherever's feeling good. Whatever you're feeling, that's gonna be good. All right, I'm gonna do a little water to show you how this kind of will do fun stuff. Just softens it a little, you know? That's how you get it to make it look like that. <laughs> that was a definitive statement. Yes, that's how you do that. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> it just it just softens it because it's water soluble, but you still get that little scratchy texture. But that's what makes it seem like it's kind of like rainy, magical. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The sky is moving. Yeah, and you can even go back into like a puddle and add a little pigment, and it'll be a little darker. That's kind of fun to do. And then you can kind of soften again if you want. You can, just, you can have fun with this. But for drying sake, I'm gonna stop. And we'll give this a minute to dry. And we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. This is dry now. I cheated and used a heat gun. Heat gun, that's what it is. Yeah, you could use a blow dryer or you could just Take a minute for some snacks or, you know, whatever. Um, one tip, because sometimes this will curl up a lot. I'll try to dry both sides, but it's still popping up a little bit. So I'm going to put my clip, clip that down for us so we can see it. Nice. Okay. So now we got this guy. We're going to glue him on like that. And then we're going to cut the doors out. So we need our yes paste, which is awesome because it's slow working. I'm going to push this off. I'm going to do it on here. And you're just going to put the glue on and scrape it almost off. Like you just want a thin layer of this. And you want to get all the way on to those edges because this is an interactive element. And so if you're moving it back and forth, you really need the whole thing to be glued down securely. Securely glued down. That's what we want. <laughs> Sounded like you said security. <laughs> security. No. No. Securely. Oh, Keenan's just getting crazy. Getting crazy. Got a complicated order over here. All right. <laughs> Let's see. So just glob it on there and then scrape it across. And that gives you a nice thin layer and you can really get it to the edges and everywhere that you need it to be, which is everywhere. We need it everywhere. Everywhere. Right? Oh yeah. Okay, I think we got it. Lovely. It's a slower drying glue, so you have some time to move it around if you get it in the wrong spot, which I really like and enjoy about Yes Paste. I'm just gonna line the bottom up, the bottom of my steps up at the bottom of my page. I was like, I'm gonna line the bottom up with the bottom, which I realized did not make sense. Okay, I like that, that feels right. Man, that page just makes that door pop. I like it. Nice. Okay, so that's on there, nice and secure. And we are going to put secure this between our page. Now, if you forget, if you cut this, you're gonna be cutting your other page. <laughs> so if you don't wanna do that, I'm gonna put our mat in between our page like this. The old slide flip mat it over. trick. Yeah. So then we're gonna use our ruler to cut our doors. Sneak a mat. Yeah. Just, I'm gonna turn it this way so I can cut. Protect a mat. Yeah. It's protecting our page. That's right. Our page underneath. So I'm gonna cut straight across there. 
And I just want to remind you guys, I am using a new blade. Do not use an old blade because you want a nice sharp cut. And if you notice, I kind of went over it a couple times just to make sure I'm getting a cut through. This makes the muting paper is thick. So I want to make sure we get it. And I'm going to cut at the bottom. And when you're cutting in the middle of an image, it's like, all right, you're protecting this way, but you might cut that way. What are you going to do? You just got to wing it. It's going to be all right. Easier to protect it if you, if you slide it down, though. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh, wait, no. Either way, you're right. Oh, no. My perspective has shifted. <laughs> Can't trust anything. Life is all about the perspective, though, isn't it? It is. We're feeling deep today. Yeah, we are. We're being really present, like in this present moment. And we're thinking about magic portals. What if we had a square? Where, where would your magic ruler? portal go? We have not heard from Keenan. We know what I, mine is. My magic portal? Yeah. Oh, that's a tough one. Do you need me to remind you of the prompt? No. You remember it? Okay. No, because this one's real. Time and or place. When or where? Hmm. Most people that I asked when I was working on this project chose the past. I mean, I was thinking of the past. I liked how you said the future, but I'd like to get in on the uh, ground floor of Microsoft or Apple. <laughs> Go hang out with those guys, see what they were like. Yeah. Cool. I think I'm more interested in like people from the past. Not necessarily like wanting to know them to say, oh, I met that person, but like I'd love to meet Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn and Frank Sinatra, and just to see what they were like. Just, like, hang out with them? Yeah, I just want to know them. Okay, no, I put my ruler right alongside of where I want the door to bend, and I just lifted it up so that we're, we can open it. Make sense? Yes, it does. All right. I'll do the same thing. Try to keep my head out of the way, so I flipped it over. I'm going to line up my ruler right with where I want that to bend, and then I'm just going to lift it up. And you can just push with your finger against the ruler to give it a little bit of a crease, a little bit of a, a fold, if you will. And that will do it. Now, when I did that really hard, it made my paper just pop up a little bit, but I'm going to press that down because my glue is still working on drying because it's slow drying. So we have time for that. <gasps> and there we have it. <laughs> it's such a simple thing, but it's so fun whenever it, you, I do it, you do it. Okay, I'm going to just paint this yellow so you can see it through it, and I'll show you what I did, and then I'll let you guys journal your answer. And I love seeing your answers. So, well, and what you know, the part that ends up being different that people can do. And I said we're not going to use yellow. Remember that? I forgot because I was looking at this. I'm like, oh, we won't use yellow. We're using yellow. <laughs> so if you put your yellow away. I'm real sorry. We're really Go get just it. challenging them to see if they were paying attention. <laughs> Everybody was probably like, uh, you used yellow. What are you talking about uh, right that now? That second page is yellow, Jesse. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I talk to the TV sometimes whenever I'm watching a movie, especially this time of year. I, I like, you know, I, I had just watched them scary movies in October, and I'm like, don't do it. Don't go in there. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay if you said no. I try not to watch scary in. movies. No, I don't like really scary movies. I'm not into that. Okay, so I just got yellow on my paintbrush. I'm gonna do just some long swishes, swashies, up and down. And I, I watered it down a little bit. And now I might want to have some that are a little darker. I'm liking that. It's a little shadow here. Can you see? Yeah, I think our light is dying. Luckily, I ordered more lights. Yay for light. Yay. Ooh. This is awkward. Keep going. You're good. <laughs> I thought, like, did my mic die or something? That would be crazy. Okay. So we're 
just getting yellow in there. If you wanted to be really careful, you could put a piece of wax paper or something underneath this page so you didn't get yellow in the next page, but I'm just going to live on the edge of this page. I'm going to be okay with that. This kind of looks like cheese. Yeah, it does look like a little bit of cheddar. I have some paint that is called cheddar, but it's not this one because this is pure really? sunshine. Right? Maybe some people like cheese so much that it makes them feel like they're getting a slice of sunshine. Ooh. So it's a perfect name for them. If there was a cheese called sunshine, I would want to eat it. I would try it. I'd try I, it. I'm not a huge fan of cheese. I like smoked cheeses and mm. Munster cheese, but... I'm a big fan of Gouda. Mmm. Gouda. It's Gouda. And it's almost lunchtime, so now we're thinking about eating, right? My stomach hurts so bad. <laughs> Is it grumbly? Pretty sure there are some tutorials that have recordings of a stomach grumbly from being hungry. I'm going to blame them all on Keenan. Perfect. <laughs> I'm sure mine has too. But I'm just going to say it was you. Okay. I'll take white. it. White. Now, I think I let this dry before I did the white last time. But, you know, it's going to be fine. It's worth the risk. <laughs> I want to get all that um, pigment off my brush. Sorry, I moved my water and you can't even see the nice color I have going on here. Looks like grapefruit. It's a little orangier, I feel like. Okay. But maybe. I don't well, know. I say that because I don't I actually can't even think of a grapefruit right now. Is it I more red? Just, yeah, it's just like uh, a little more pink. I'm getting really specific though. It's pretty. It's pretty grapefruity. Yeah, it's related to grapefruity. Okay, so right in the middle, I'm going to do like a lighter swash of white. Okay, and this is going to help your, your journaling um, show up. And I'm doing it past where my door is so that I'll have room to do that, you know? Yeah. Ooh, you could make another, you could make a different door on the other side of the page you did the door on. You totally could. And then it'd be like, oh, you're here. Then you can paint the other page where that shows that. Yeah. Well, you could get crazy. You just go back and forth. God, that'd be so much fun. <laughs> well, you should try it. One side could be a quote note that you really love, and another side could be a recipe that you really love. Oh. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Or just a list of food. <laughs> That'd be so funny if you just have a, a journal full of lists of food. He really is. <laughs> Different things. About lunch, isn't he? <laughs> uh, you could have sandwiches and soups. I'm so sorry if you don't have snacks. So snacks. <laughs> Socks. <laughs> Socks. <laughs> snacks nearby and you're hungry and Kenyon's making it worse. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. As now I'm getting hungry. Okay. So, you know, if you want to check your door to see how it's lining up, you can do that. And, yeah, this needs to dry, but it's ready for journaling. It's ready for whatever magic portal answer you have. And like I said, mine is traveling to the future to see my kids and how they turn out. And one tip before you journal is you can go and open your door and kind of draw a little pencil line in the corners. Oh. So that you know your that your letters are gonna line up, and then when you get in here, you'll know. Okay, my my door is gonna show from here to there, you know whatnot, and then you could. I just drew some lines, and then I journaled over it. Um, yeah, nice. and you could even pencil it, like you know, to make sure that your letters are lining up, or you could check out a lettering tutorial and get really crazy and do like a fun thing there. Oh snap! Or, Lettering artist Nicole has lots of really cool tutorials on lettering that you could try out for that. 
Um, I just love this project. I love it because it just got me thinking about something new and I love interactive things in my journal. I think it's so fun. And so if you like trying interactive things, we're gonna be doing that in the next couple of weeks, just different things in there. And um, we have this awesome art journaling community on Facebook at Let's Make Art Journals. And lots of people like to share their projects. And it's kind of fun because then, you know, you can see what other people do and their variations. And maybe somebody will do what Kanan suggested, painting this side and having it go interactive on the other side. That'd and if you do that, cool. we want to see it. We want to see it. And yeah, it just kind of builds because people will do these projects and they'll tweak it this way and that way. And then someone will see that and they'll, it, just, it just keeps on going. Just a giant inspiration page. Yeah, so if you would like to share that with us, we'd love to see it. You can also hashtag us um, on <laughs> Instagram. And we're just so glad that you're here painting with us and we can't see what, we can't wait to see what you make next. Thanks, bye.